Hello, this is Anfran Tushev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the metadata replicator component to synchronize metadata between uh, agents on clients and server. So I prepared a simple setup here with an agent group, with a with the layout, a state machine, a rector for capsule collision. Uh, and then I set up the, the play modes to spawn uh, a client and a server and add some lags between them. So if I press play, if I play like this, we'll see there are some some lags between the server agents and the and the agents and the client. Uh, this is because uh, the uh, client takes some time to initialize the agents and synchronize the data. So uh, what you can do here to fix this one is to use the metadata replicator. So the metadata replicator send metadata from the server to the uh, to the agents of the client. In this case, we can synchronize the position metadata. That is the metadata that drive the position in, in workspace in, uh, in, uh, in in your simulation. Uh, since since we the, the metadata replicator and the replicator system in Aria can't send basically. The, the data at every tick because there can be too much data. We need it's better to interpolate this uh, this 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 data between samples at different times. And so turn on interpolator, interpolate sorry, and then press play. Now you see the the data on both are synchronized, and you have the right basically uh, agents agent position. Let's press play again. Let's have a look. Check the now. Basically, it's working fine. Uh, let's have a look to the parameters on the metadata replicator. So the metadata replicator here, uh, by default, use the standard property replicator, replication system of Arial. So basically, is uh, the, the module write the position metadata of the agents on a property of this component and then the, the client read this property when it change and then set basically the, the position of the, of the agent based on, the, on, that, on that data. If you don't want to use the, the property replication, you can use uh, RPC. Uh, so you can use the RPC call. Uh, the update time is the frequency of the RPC call. So in this case, it's sending on every 0 0.1 seconds. Probably we can increase this one in this case because I don't have too much agents here. And basically, I have the same results here, but in this case, using RPC. Sometimes it's faster using so RPC sometimes not. It really depends on the number of agents you have, your network setup, and so on. So play a bit with these tabs to this property to see what's the optimal case for for your scene. Uh, last thing is that you can enable disable the replication around time. So in this way you can basically enable only replication of the metadata when you really need. Because you see if you have a lot of agents uh, and you have a low bandwidth on for your network, then it's better to send only to synchronize only the agent that you really need. Um, you can use the the you can change directly the property here using, for example, the 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 set enable set enable replication from Blueprint. For example, we can take <coughs> a reference for agent group, cut the component. Some metadata replicator component. And then we can use the set enable replication. And this way we can control and activate the replication on any agent we want or an entire module. This one is a way to set uh, to re 
to enable the replication of runtime. Another way is using metadata on, on the agents. If you go on the module and you check the tooltip here, you can see that you can control uh, the replication with your metadata that should have, uh, it's a bool metadata that should have the, in this case, metadata replicator three at enable replication uh, as a name. This way you can control this with a behavior tree or any other custom component. For example, you can replicate metadata on the agents that are close to the camera, uh, sorry, close to the player, compared to really far uh, agents. In this way, you can uh, synchronize a lot of more agents. Because usually the limits, especially for example, to uh, synchronize this position is a couple of hundreds agents uh, on an average uh, average uh, connection. So if you have thousands of agents in your scene and you want to replicate the position, you can replicate the position at the start and then turn off and uh, the replication and then enable on the replication on your on the agents that are close to the to the player. So thanks you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.